So this is bin number six, part one. It is a smaller bin, so it might be just one or two parts. Um, long story short, I moved into this place about three months ago, going on three months, and I had six, at least, at least six, if not seven bins of clothes that has been stored away. I've been slowly unpacking, but I recently discovered that I'll be moving, so um, things will be <laughs> packed up again. I am still doing a capsule wardrobe, but I do want to take this time to go through everything, um, divide everything. Uh, some of it will be packed right away that I'm not going need to need access to uh, for my capsule wardrobe, so any most of my lingerie, most of my costumes I'll be putting away and then each section I'll be kind of going through and um, deciding on a capsule wardrobe. Now because I do have limited time and energy I might not film each section and making those decisions. I might just narrow it down to 100, 120 pieces and then narrow it down from there and I'll probably film that journey on the other side of moving. Um, but yeah, there's just not a lot of time or energy in a day in the process of moving to take care of all that. So if I can, if I have time, I will. If not, um, I'll narrow it down and kind of go through that. Um, the first item is um, this kind of like violet, I don't know, like a deep purple top. Um, it's got rufflings on uh, the straps here. It's nice and flowy. Um, I really like that it's structured and it actually has like a double um, double layer here. So what it ends up doing is it ends up really smoothing. <coughs> Sorry, I'm a bit thirsty. I'll, go, I'll get some water in between this take and the next one. Um, it ends up smoothing the chest and then creating more of a cinch waist, which is quite nice. So uh, it ends up really hugging the curves that I want and then kind of spreading out with the asymmetricalness. I've had this in my possession probably about 11 years and I got it from my favorite clothing store, a store called Suzanne's. Um, it's in Western Canada. Love, 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 love the store. I see that I had it um, I had it dry cleaned in 2018. I am quite sure I've worn it since then. I, I don't look past seeing that tag. Sometimes I don't take it off when I should. Um, but yeah, anyways, um, I love it. I've worn it. Um, I often do have it in my capsule wardrobe. Sometimes I actually have it in my winter and fall capsule wardrobe because it's, it's nice to have um, different different tops and then I can layer as well. Um, depending on the color scheme I could see this being part of my capsule wardrobe. It is one of my favorite tops. I've worn it probably a hundred plus times. Anywhere from going like anything beyond grocery shopping to be honest. I've worn it to meet people at coffee shops. Um, I've gone to concerts. I've gone to art shows. I've gone karaoke in this. Yeah. It's a, it's just a fun top. I like it. Um, the next one is this Adidas sweater that I got, oof, I want to say like 13, 14 years ago. I'm still holding strong and I love it. And it is, um, in this like pink purple. Uh, I got it at Sports Check. Um, yeah, it's, I've worn it a lot. I've worn it a lot. Yeah, it's. It's really nice. I mean, uh, there are a few things, um, I would say probably in the sleeve where it's a bit dirty and, um, maybe not the sleeve, but the other one, it is coming a little bit undone and, oh, no, maybe I'm thinking of a different one, but yeah, it's nice. I like it. Um, it's nice and structured. I've washed it a whole bunch of times. I've probably in the last 13 years worn it a hundred, 200 plus times. Wear it casually, wear it camping, wear it grocery shopping, wearing it to concerts. Um, this with a certain like top and makeup looks really, really nice. Wearing it to like R&B, hip hop, rap concerts. It's a, it's a good time. I like it. 
Um, so I'll put it in the sweater section. Uh, the next one here, I got this at Sears. I got, I think about three or four dresses for for my birthday because I wasn't sure which one I was going to wear. Um, and this one is a really structured um, sweetheart dress. And then it's got a little bit of ruching here and then it flares out. And I love, love, love the heart pattern. Um, it's black with white hearts. Um, it's fit me multiple sizing. Um, love the shape on it. And it's really nice material. Um, it's thin. I, I could sit, if it fits me right now, I could see this being part of my um, capsule wardrobe. So I'm going to put that in the dress section. I love, I love, love, love it. Um, the next one is a skirt. Oh, no, it's a uh, caprice. Um, so it has some ruching here, making it a bit shorter. I think somebody gave this to me, an old friend, probably about six, seven years ago. Um, I'll put that in the bottom section. I like it. I wear it. Um, it's very flexible. And so, yeah, that's good. The next one here I got probably about, oof, I was... I want to say 14, 15 years ago. It's one of those where it's on and off where it fits. I don't think it would fit me right now, but it does have a lot of stretch. And I do wear it more for the fall and winter because it is long sleeve. But it's got this nice kind of silk satin um, collar. And then it's got like see-through arms with a bit of flare at the bottom of the sleeve. Um, and then... It's double layered with like a lining. I, I really like this. I think it's, um, it's not zebra print, is it? I'm not sure, but yeah, I like it. It's nice. Um, I would put it in the dress section just, but I know that it doesn't fit me right now. Um, I've probably worn this about 30, 40 times. And for a dress, it's fairly good, especially since it ebbs and flows with my sizing. Um, at a certain cap though, um, I would say probably about 10, 15 pounds lighter it would fit. Um, but I, I fluctuate to that quite frequently every year or two. So, uh, this year is a no go maybe for the fall and winter. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be packing that away. Uh, the next one, Ooh, this is fun. <laughs> I got this at Zellers, uh, probably about the 14, 15 year ago mark. It is lace, and um, I like this kind of lace detailing. Um, I've worn it by itself. I've worn it with a tank top underneath. It's fun. I've worn it day to day. I've worn it out dancing to a bar, date night. Yeah, I mean, I like it. Um, I do see, because I wash it and dry it, I do see some of the elastics kind of deteriorating, but that doesn't really stop me. I still like it and um, I'll be putting that in the top section. I normally have one or two of that kind of style. I've got multiple different ones so I'll probably narrow it down. The next one is a blue cropped sweater. It's a bit see-through and light. Uh, it looks good with a couple of things but yeah it's you know I got it at Walmart probably about three years ago or so and I've worn it. I've worn it at the office and I've, I used to wear it to school um, and it went really really nicely with a particular dress so I would pair that together um, but yeah I like it I, I typically have I would say three to five different cover-ups or sweaters or over-the-shoulders uh, cardigan um, in different colors different styles different like crop long that kind of thing um, so I'll be putting that in the sweater section um, oh, this is a bodysuit that I normally wear just for the leg part, leg portion. Um, I think I wore this, I don't know if it was this one or a pink one, but I wore it for Valentine's Day one year. But yeah, I like the detailing, the lace. Um, and then this is actually to put your ankle here and then your foot here, and it prevents it from sliding everywhere. It's a bit more structured. Um, I mean, this is still cute detailing. Um, it's open crotch with like 
holes in the front with bow ties and then uh, it stretches I swear it stretches and then it's supposed to be like open nip like open nipple open just like it's uh, open crotch it has holes there too uh, with two straps now um, I really just wear it for the legs um, and I find if it's just at the hips because my hips um, and my sizing varies so much that it'll run up, it'll run down, it's just so uncomfortable. So I like just having a full body suit um, and it, it, it just stays in place more. So um, even though I've put away lots of um, like lingerie and stuff, I think I'll keep this out and um, I'm not sure if I have other ones out, but I do like the idea of having access to like one or two funky colors or even just in general, I like having um, something to um, have a focal point of interest. So if my outfit is kind of bland, like shorts or a skirt and like a more covered up top or even just a, a normal dress, having a pop of color or like lace detailings and, and fishnets or lace detailing leggings or tights or fishnets, I just, I like that look. So uh, I'll probably be keeping two or three of those out. This is just a basic cami I got from Walmart about five or six years ago. I've worn it lots. I've worn it by itself. I've worn it, um, it's like a taupe kind of color, like a purple brown. And I, I've got it at Walmart three to five dollars ish. And yeah, I've worn it a lot. It's a fairly high quality actually. Like it, I have not seen any, any holes or any... <laughs> As I'm saying it, I'm like, I hope I don't. Yeah, it's it's really kept its shape and structure, which is three to five dollars from Walmart. Not complaining. I'll put that in the top section. Um, the next one is oh, I got this. I got this probably about fourteen to sixteen years ago. I love it. It's this um, uh, halter top. Uh, it does have this kind of detailing around the chest area, um, and it's asymmetrical and very flowy. It's got, like, different types of browns and this, like, really nice flower detail. Yeah, I really like it. Um, I usually wear this with, like, a sweater or a co cover-up over it. Um, I've worn it dancing, I've worn it on dates, I've worn it out. Um... The only thing that I would say is that it does put a lot of pressure on my neck, so if I have a sunburn as I, I do now, it's not too bad, but um, I wouldn't do that, or if my neck was particularly sore, um, that's the only downside. I've probably worn it about 50 times in the last 14, 15 years, which for a top is not much, but anytime I wear it, I like it, uh, and it's from Sushi Sheer, and uh, what I like, uh, it has like an elastic back, so... It, again, it really ebbs and flows with my sizing. I'm going to do one more item and then I'll do a part two to this. I, I think that there will only be a part two. So the next one, I just got this last year. Oh, I like it already. Um, and see, this is what I should be wearing uh, yeah, today to prevent at least my shoulders and neck. Oh, it's looking so red. Anyways, it's this kind of yellow snake, sprit, uh, snake print. A cover up it does have holes on each side and yeah it's to prevent sunburn um, I always feel like summer in it so it's what I like uh, I've only worn it a few times it's very citrusy um, but yeah it's it's open like that with holes um, yeah I think I honestly could see this being one of them that I'd wear I'll put that in the sweater section and that'll be a wrap for bin six part one